I'm Dr. Amy. This is time for another Tuesday tip. So this month we're talking about B vitamins and maybe some of the less known usages or characteristics. This week I want to talk about thiamine, vit vitamin B1, and the two different forms that are sort of being talked about on the internet right now. So one is just plain old thiamine, which is great, right? It's involved in cellular energy metabolism and overall, overall health, as well as like nerve and brain health, things like that. There is a newer form that's synthetic. It doesn't occur in nature, as far as I'm aware. It's actually a manufactured thiamine derivative called benfotiamine. And benfotiamine has been researched as thiamine. So in the body, it converts through the same pathways, but it has better bioavailability and better tissue penetrance. So that means you're getting more of it from what you what you take in. And also it's penetrating into different tissues in a way that water soluble thymine maybe doesn't. And so this benfotiamine has been showing really promising results in things like neurodegenerative disorders where it's actually getting in to the neurological tissue and changing things, which is amazing. Uh, especially, especially there have been significant improvements in diabetic neuropathy. So um, if you have diabetes that's in a later stage and it's affecting the nerves, say to your feet, where you don't have good feeling in your feet or you're not really, you know, innervating your feet properly. So you may have numbness and tingling or you may have kind of pain um, or you may just have a loss of feeling, loss of sensation, then benfotiamine might be actually more beneficial than thiamine, which is still beneficial. <laughs> so it's a really interesting um, thing to try. If you've taken thiamine in the past or you're taking thiamine, but not getting the results you want, you may want to try benfotiamine. Um, and it's available everywhere, right? You can get it off of Amazon. There's lots and lots of suppliers. Um, but likewise, if you're taking benfotiamine and not seeing the results you want, you may want to try switching over to thiamine because there's a lot we don't know about benfotiamine yet, and some people may not metabolize it in the same way. So these are both forms of vitamin, vitamin B1, which is necessary for life, right? Um, but if you're not getting the results that you want to with thiamine, try benfotiamine and vice versa. Um, but yes, benfotiamine is very, very promising, I think, especially in the neurodegenerative and neurological realms. Um, also, if you are an alcohol drinker, remember that alcohol uses thymine to be processed. So you may have a higher need for thymine or benfotiamine, whichever one you are taking, um, than average. So um, give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Put a drop a hint in the comment there. And that's it for this week. Talk to you later.